I'm just so disappointed in myself. I mean, it's like uh, three steps forward, two steps back, you know? I've never handled being trapped very well. It used to be so bad that if I was in a, a traffic jam and none of the cars were moving for, you know, eight minutes or something, I would have to put the vehicle in park, get out of the car and pace. And there's uh, when I go somewhere and the roads are so twisty and windy that it's like, if you look at it on a map, it looks like a pile of spaghetti. You know, the roads, the way they interconnect and, you know, you, you can't get your bearings. Well, I want to go in this direction. How do I go in this direction? Well, no, you go here, 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 here. And I start to stress out. And, uh... Worst case scenario of that was one time when uh, I was in Portland in the non the the non downtown area. Freeway traffic had slowed down to almost a halt, and I decided, well, let's take some back roads to get around it. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was like, uh, like I said, it was like a pile of spaghetti. Here we go. Here are the roads. Here's the map. Had no idea how to get out of there. Even, uh, even with directions in the, on the, on the, on my phone, it was still a mess. And I ended up driving to the center they they had the the road the the two lanes split and there was this big triangular thing in the middle of the road that i pulled over got out and just started yelling incoherently and I'd say things like, you know, I'd yell things at drivers uh, driving by. I'd, How the fuck do you manage this? How do you get around this? This is like a pile of spaghetti. What the fuck? All right. Um, I, I'm stranded. I've been yelling. I, 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 I. I, I tried to take a shortcut. I, I tried to. I. I, I I five north was completely st stopped. I five north was completely stopped, and so I wanted to try to find a different way. And even using the GPS, I'm well. At first, that the app, like, um. The app kept going, the, 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 the Google Maps app kept taking me back to the freeway. Oh, sure, let's take you on a 20-minute on a way to get back to the freeway. No, I don't want to get back to the freeway. It stopped. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I can't, I can't find any rhyme or reason to any of it. I can't stand twisty roads when they're just all interconnecting twisty roads. I can't maneuver through that. There's no... There's, you, I want to go in a direction, you can't go in that direction. You have to go, if you want to go north, you have to go east, south, and west. It, it just, it just, where, where, how, where is any rhyme or reason? How do I know what road is going to go what direction when I, when I go down it? And because of the way the roads are here, even if I use a GPS on something, which Google likes to take you on wild goose chases, the road is going to suddenly, with, with, without warning, 
the right lane will end, or the left lane will end, or the center lane will split, or something like that. There's no, they, they don't warn you on any of it. So at that point, I, I, I was so stressed that, yeah, this is stupid. It's just stupid. I, uh, I called the police and said, I don't know how to get out of here. It is, the roads are like a giant pile of spaghetti. What, what am I supposed to do? You know, and they're like, well, we can't do anything about that. You know, we're not, we're not equipped to do that. We're dealing with enough other things. So eventually I got back in the vehicle, tried to uh, pinpoint a spot on the map to go to, used GPS and drove for I don't know, it must have been 10, 15 minutes of this this windy stuff that I had no idea where I was supposed to be headed. Made this turn on this road, this turn on that road, and eventually led my way back to the freeway. <clears throat> Which by that point wasn't nearly as bad anymore, so I should have just stayed on the freeway in the first place, but... That was the last really bad incident of that. Can't remember how many years ago that was. And, uh... <clears throat> but Sunday. Sunday was the most recent. Um, I went to this park. What is it, uh... Des Moines, Des Moines Creek Trail, I think it is. You know, on Google Maps, it looked like a nice, lush uh, forest with a nice trail leading through it. And uh, I get there, and they want you to, they have these those little boom gates. Uh, well, you need to take a ticket to go in, and you'll have to pay, uh, you know, two dollars per hour to park there and you have to pay when you leave it's like well okay it's just two dollars it shouldn't be any sort of big deal you know so i drive through go eventually get to the point where this trail is and it wasn't really a trail at all i i, I personally don't think if you're gonna if if something is just a road that cars can't go down yeah, that shouldn't be called a trail. That should be called a road or, or, or something. You know, not a trail. Anyway, I walked about eight or so minutes down this trail and eventually gave up. I mean, yeah, there is, there's, a, uh, there's a stream to the right. Uh, you eventually go, I eventually go under this, uh, this bridge. Uh can't remember the name of that road um, that the bridge was. Um. I mean, this is this is interesting. Yeah, it's more of a bike trail than a walking trail. Similar, though, to another another place that I had went that's just a little south of there. But, uh, yeah, I walked about eight minutes and said, oh, no, this is so stupid. This is just so stupid. I mean, if you can't, if you can't even be near, you can't, there's no chance of you ever brushing up against any plant life. You know, that's not somewhere that you can connect to nature. You're just walking on a road. And it even has a yellow line going down the center of it, right? And uh, so I turned around, started walking back. <clears throat> my mood was already not so great. Because I felt I had just wasted my time. But that shouldn't have been a big deal, right? And so I get to my 
I finally get back to my vehicle and I get to the uh, to the boom gate and the little screen that uh, oh you have to scan the scan the ticket and then make your payment. So I scanned the ticket. It wouldn't scan the first three times. So I scanned it a fourth time. Oh, it took this time. Of course, the operating system was slow as molasses. And, uh, you know, took its time in telling me that it finally was able to see it. And so I, okay, uh, you make your payment. Okay, scan my card. Um, Okay, it's not doing anything. Let's scan it again. It's not doing anything. Let's scan it a third time. And finally, it says that it's authorizing. Oh, okay, great, finally. Wait about 30 seconds or so. Declined. And I'm like, well, I've got plenty of money in my bank account. You know, at least enough to pay for a $2 parking uh, fee, right? So I tried again, and it didn't really do anything. Well, okay. Let's get out, you know, instead of using my debit card, I do have a Visa card. And I'm thankful I have enough credit that I can have a card. And uh, I try to scan that. And nothing. Well, it says you could tap it. Well, let's tap it. Let's scan it. Tap, scan, scan, tap, scan, scan, tap. Nothing. I'm getting more and more angry. And uh, then I waited longer. I'm like, okay, uh, uh, cancel. Let's hit cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. Nothing. The operating system was completely locked up. So I got out of the vehicle, went to the uh, to the to the boom gate tried to see if I could lift it up to force it to go up. It wouldn't move. Get back in the vehicle. Hit cancel a bunch more times. And uh, yeah, nothing. Same, same image on the screen. The operating system had locked up. Apparently, there was a call button. I didn't really see it. I was too emotional to see it. And if I had seen it, I would have assumed that it wouldn't work anyway because the operating system had locked up. And uh, I fleetingly, for just a tiny moment, thought, well, maybe I could call the police, which is what I should have done. Well, apparently I should have hit the call button, but uh, because I later find out that it was connected, you know, it's, it's on a different system. It's not directly connected to the computer. It's it's. You know, so it would have contacted people in the office, the office that you can't see anywhere. Um, but I fleetingly thought of calling, calling the police at that moment. And I thought to myself, well, if I'm in this emotional state, you know, after all the, the footage that I see of, of police, you know, manhandling people and people's lives in danger because you don't show the police enough respect, you know, what... Uh, what am I going to do if, if they, they come and I'm in this state of mind? Or am I going to, is my life going to be in danger, you know? So I, uh, and I yell at the machine a bunch of times, hey, I, I didn't, you know, I've, I have plenty of money in my fucking bank account and I've scanned this. And, you know, I was practically jumping up and down. And then I said, all right, all right, I give up. And I... Went to the boom, uh, the boom gate, bent it forward, and drove off. And uh, you know, I seemed to be driving okay. I, I didn't seem, you know, I, I I wasn't driving dangerously. I was driving the speed limit. All of that. Drove home. Then I called the Des Moines police and told them what happened. And I told them that I'm, I was scared that I, uh, you know, uh, because I, I, I don't want to get arrested. You know, I, I, I did this and I'm sorry. And I told them, told them the, the whole story of what happened and that the, the operating system locked up. 
And uh, they said, no, don't worry about that. Don't, don't worry about being arrested. Thank you for calling and telling us. And they took down my information. And then yesterday, uh, the park called. Uh, they, they actually, it's from the marina, because I guess it's connected to the marina, even though I didn't see any sort of marina there, but it's the same number, I guess. I guess that's the office that handles this stuff. And, uh, you know, I told them what happened, and they said, why didn't you use the call button? I'm like, well, I didn't really see it, and, and I, I would assume that if if push all the other buttons didn't work and the whole operating system locked up that uh <clears throat> that that wouldn't work either i mean nothing worked everything was locked up and uh they're like well you know and they said well you're you're gonna have to pay for the gate and it ended up being uh, 770 dollars because i bent that gate and, uh, I mean, at least I wasn't arrested and I charged it on that card, on that, on my visa card, you know, gave them that information, but I still think it's stupid to set up hourly parking for a park. I mean, I've been to plenty of parks where you have to pay to get in. You, you, there's, there's someone there at the, at the entrance, you pay them a certain amount to get in and you're good. I've also been to parks where, uh, you know, if you park, you, you have to go to this pay station and you put something in, in your window. Okay, fine. But I've never been to a park where you can't leave. You can't leave until you pay. You know, I felt trapped. And I reacted stupidly. I, I was over-emotional. It was stupid. And, uh, and I've paid the price. Luckily, it wasn't a heftier price like jail time or something. If I wouldn't have called the police later, that might have been what happened to me. But, um... I'm just really disappointed in myself. I, I shouldn't have acted that way. I, sh I shouldn't have responded that way. I shouldn't have become over-emotional that way. And, uh... Those who have been subscribed to me for years, for many years, here on YouTube, you've probably seen uh, a few times where people got my... Uh, got me up in a... Uh, got my feathers ruffled. And, uh, you know, I, I've sometimes gotten that way, you know, really emotional over people giving stupid arguments like the whole flat earth thing. I've reacted that way to, uh, anarcho-capitalists. Um, I haven't yet reacted that way to communists. I get a little frustrated, but... Yeah, I've 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 reacted very poorly to anarcho-capitalists and uh, and flat earthers because there's no it's no matter how much information you give them and show them well this is you know you, you show anarcho-capitalists human nature and these are the effects of human nature and you give them proof and you give them incidents and you and they don't care. No, no, I'm an I'm a principled anarcho-capitalist. It's just like, it, what good are your principles when they don't apply to reality, you know? And so, like with with flat earthers, it doesn't matter how much proof you give them. You can give them, you know, ten ten links to things that you know disprove all of the things that they say, and their reaction is to come up with yet another. Excuse not to look at reality, you know, so, you know, that's the reason why I block and delete people who push flat earth theory, because there's just no point, I, and I'm not about to let myself get all emotional and irrational towards them.
because then they'll say, oh, well, you're getting irrational. Ha ha, I win. It's just like, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the way a lot of people do things. That's the way a lot of people like to argue. Oh, if I've made you angry, I, I win. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. But anyway, um, but I'm really disappointed in myself. Again, at least, at least I'm not in jail, right? I could have been. But I know from now on, if ever I run into something like that again, even if I am really emotional, you know, I just need to call the police. That's what I need to do. And since I'm the one that's calling, you know, I should tell, I should just tell them, hey, I'm really emotional, please, you know, just, just tell them, please don't, uh, uh, uh yeah, please don't arrest me because I'm emotional, just, just, you know, because I'm, even when I'm angry, I, I could at least still say that. I just need to. I don't know. Still, the thought goes through my head, though. You know, what if, what if they, uh, what if they didn't react kindly to my emotional state at that time? I just wish I, I didn't get emotional over those kinds of things. The trapped thing gets me the most when I'm trapped. Do you have any stories? that you could tell in the comments? If so, let me know. Thanks.